Gorecom, the small cap epicenter of Gorecom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press release out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and may even find your next great small cap investments Friday, December the 17th. Despite the fact we're away for a week away from Christmas and it's a Friday, I still have three press releases for you. Let's get straight to them. First up comes out of VMS Ventures Trades on the TSX Venture Exchange on the stock symbol VMS. This news came out very late yesterday afternoon, around 3.30 in the afternoon. Specifically, they reported mineralization at 30 meters from surface, including 15.7 meters of 6.57% zinc. These are drill and assay results from the initial infill diamond drill program at the Reed Lake deposit in Manitoba. The results are for holes RDL009 to RDL014 inclusive, and they're designed to test the zinc copper rich lens uh, zone 30 located near surface. In addition, the highlights I just gave you, uh, the company says uh, it's also amenable to ramp development and early production from an underground operation. This infill program is the first phase of drilling at the Reed Lake project under a joint venture formed between VMS and Hud Bay Minerals. That's a, it's a really big joint venture. Uh, Hud Bay Minerals just, just put out their expenditures for 2011 in the area. It's going to be significant. Uh, this is a base metal, polymetallic, massive sulfide type deposit. Uh, the company closed yesterday, 53 cents. 52 week high, 55 cents. They traded over 11 million shares in the last five trading days or so. 52 week low, 20 cents. So this is a client of a Gorecom. Always have to disclose that. But we don't talk about a Gorecom client news unless it stands on its own two feet. And VMS seems to really be finding its wings right now. And uh, definitely something put on your radar. Go do your due diligence. Uh, assume I'm horribly conflicted, but do your own due diligence. I think you'll like what you see. So congratulations to Rick and his group over there. Next up, Selwyn Resources, SWN on the Venture Exchange. They announced that definition drilling confirms high-grade mineralization. These are first release of assay results from the 93 lens, uh, drilling over the 93 lens of the XY Central Deposit which is located at the Selwyn Project in Yukon. Uh, Dr. Harlan Mead, President and CEO of the company, gave us a little bit of perspective before I give you the highlights. He says the results are very encouraging in confirming continuity of the high-grade mineralization and providing, I like this part, the necessary information for completing upgrade of the mineral resources for the feasibility study scheduled for completion in mid-2011. Like that, I like that a lot. Uh, feasibility studies, uh, always a great sign. Here are the highlights. Uh, whole XYC 210, 21 meters, grading 9.6% zinc, 2.9% lead, including 7.8 meters, uh, grading 17.8% zinc, 6.05% lead. Whole 222, 10.16 meters of 16% zinc, 4.7% lead, including 5.9 meters of 19.2% zinc, 5.94% lead. And the company says this confirms widespread high-grade mineralization in the 93 lens. This Selwyn project is uh, the company's core project, and they're calling it a world-class project. Uh, more than just words, it looks like they're really backing up with their, with their money. Since 2005, the company says it's invested approximately $70 million to define the Selwyn deposit as one of the world's largest undeveloped zinc-lead deposits in the world. Traded yesterday, uh, closed yesterday, 20 cents. Dead smack the middle of a very tight trading range over 52 weeks, 14 on the low, 27 on the high, so it's sitting right there, dead smack in the middle. Uh, obviously, not a lot of attention on it yet because it's so tight, but if the company's saying, putting out these kind of numbers, and they're talking about a feasibility study coming out in mid-2011, it may be the time, I know it is for me, to take a closer look at Selwyn Resources. And finally, out of China, this comes out of China Sun Energy, which trades on the NASDAQ under CSUN, C -S -U -N. they announced an agreement to supply 120 megawatts of photovoltaic modules, uh, this is to Echoware. Uh, it's a subsidiary of the Kursov Group, which is a leading Italian company in the integration of photovoltaic systems and solar fields of any size. Uh, they're going to supply this 120 megawatts of uh, PV modules between the fourth quarter of 2010 and the third quarter of 2011. They closed yesterday, 435. Same kind of situation, pretty much dead smack in the middle of their 52 trade range. 584 on the high, $3.40 on the low. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. Three great press releases for you. Uh, if you watch this on Globe Investor and you look for more great uh, small mid-cap resource companies, then I'd look below me or to the left of me to take a look at the companies we report on over the past few days. Uh, otherwise, get something to the front page of Agoracom. We can do three things. 
watch the show on a daily basis or watch through our syndication partners, things like iTunes, YouTube, whatever's convenient for you. Two, take a look at the best press releases coming out of the industries uh, right on our front page there over the past few days. And finally, get up in the directory. Discover your next great small cap company. That's a wrap. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. See you on